Having a great pair of dress shoes in your closet is not a luxury. It's a necessity. Even men who default to casual shoes and sneakers will eventually have to suit up at some point. Opportunity favors the prepared. And that brings us to where we are and why we're here. TT Dog is where simplicity, elegance and style converge to make the perfect brand. I'm Jemima Oswinde and this is Fashion Insider. Hi, Tamila Day. Hi, Hajimaima. <laughs> How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, as I said, there's no better model for your own brand than you. You have one, of your titi, titi doc uh, cufflinks. cufflinks. I can see your shoes, shoes are also very nice. You look very dapper. <laughs> thank you. I'm going to go into it now. So how did you end up here? First and foremost, I grew up from a family of artists, you know, creative people. My dad um, is a doctor and my mom is an artist as well as a um, interior decorator oh. by profession but she, you know our, our passion was you know painting and drawing you know and um my brother's a great artist too i draw myself you know and at the same time i love doing business so in school um public health was a thing to do you know because then we didn't have um medicine in private universities okay. so it was basically public health that i had to follow through basically also because your dad, dad was a doctor who was uh, was a doctor and you know he just wanted oh, oh you study medicine yeah and, okay so um i love don't get it twisted i love doing public health mm -hmm. it's a great cost it's a great um you know which i love it you know at the same time you know i also love doing business so 300 level i decided that okay look I'm definitely not going to further in public health. I want to do something totally different from the norm. And um, so I wanted to venture into fashion, but the industry was very saturated. Everybody were doing clothes. And so I wanted to do something totally different. And I loved shoes. So I said, okay, let's create a brand for shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, something totally different. Let's redefine how people perceive Nigerian, the Nigerian footwear industry. So. I decided to create TT Doc, and we started making slippers, sandals for you know people in school, my friends, yeah, friends. and so from there, that's how I started. I'm know? sure you were quite popular in school back then. I'm telling you, from <laughs> door to door, and as a matter of fact, because you know Babcock, you know, it was like a campus school, and everybody had to stay in, in within school, the yeah. campus. So I had to go off campus by 300 level going to 400 level because. The way that I treated, I was leaving school, traveling back and forth, you know, because get it was it was it was ridiculous. So I had to go off campus, and I was, it was a, it was a crazy one. Trust me, <laughs> crazy awesome. But you were making your money. I was. I started, and I didn't really have the whole knowledge of um, retail, you know, manufacturing, retail, profits making, and all those kind of things, putting back into the business. So it was tough for me. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you make a lot of stuff, people don't buy, they complain, and you know. Yeah. It was a lot of challenge. Like getting people to buy made in Nigeria, people were like Nigeria. It was Nigeria. hard to convince yeah, them. Yeah, very yeah. hard because people are like definitely not original. But do Nigeria. you think that that perception has changed now? Are people more open to buy Nigerian products? I, I, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Perception has really changed. You know, as, as a matter of fact, um, for leather, Nigeria has one of the best leathers in the whole world. Mm. Trust me. We have brands like Louis Vuitton, um, Gucci actually buy from some places in Nigeria, Nigeria. like the Northern Pat, like Kano, people have, yeah, there, there's some um, dealers there that supply some Europeans, you know, mm. raw leather. So Nigeria is one of the best leather. So, you know, when we have that, then we have the likes of the Ankara, which, is, you know, we have luxury fashion brands, you know, abroad, you know, using those materials. And, yes. you know, so I think people really appreciate the Nigerian culture now, as well as you know, what comes from it, like the fabrics and the leather. The material. Talking mm -hmm. about leather, I see you work with a lot of it. Your, you know, bags, your sandals and shoes. Yes. Definitely. You source for all those materials here in Nigeria? Well, not here in Nigeria. Not okay. all of them here. Like for our shoes and um, the sandals, 100% here. 
Um, our factory is in Ogun State. Okay. I'm to be precise. Mm -hmm. And but for accessories, it's been a challenge. I used to make accessories here in Nigeria. That's uh, the wallet and the belt. But the way is the, the the world is a global market, and the mm -hmm. way social media is coming now, you have to be careful. Everybody is like everything is a marketplace. The competition is crazy, it's mm -hmm. genius, and you have to pour out the best. Oh, yeah. And because you want to promote Nigerian made, doesn't mean that you know you have to. Um, I want to um, reduce your quality, your quality. but yeah. the finishing, you know, perfected irons, is, we don't really have that 100% yet. I you actually know, we're agree gonna, with you. You know, so <laughs> we decided to uh, manufacture accessories abroad, okay. you know, getting the best, one of the best crafts in Europe. And, you know, so basically most of us, all our accessories are made outside the country. Are your, are your things handmade, like your wallet, your card holder? Yes, 100%. They're, they're handmade. all... Because I had a close look at them, and the details are quite expensive. Yeah, they're very... They're handmade. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's labor-intensive. <laughs> very labor-intensive. That's what we sell, craftsmanship. How yeah. do you come up with your designs? When you when you sit to make a shoe, for example, okay. what what is your thought process as to how, how you arrive at your final product, the design, what it looks like? Um, I design all my products. Uh, it's been uh, a lot of work. In fact, now I'm even looking at how to create a, a design team. I do a lot of research. Mm. What's trending, what people like, how people want to look. The Nigerian market is totally different. People get bored easily, in Nigeria especially, and because the market, um, as the clientele base, is um, very minimal in terms of tourism. When I mean, I'm talking of, you know, because the fact that there's no tourism, is almost like it's the same set of people, people you're selling, selling your to. things to. Yes. So you have to be extremely innovative. Let's talk about your price range. Okay. If I want to get my dad, for instance, a nice, simple TT dog shoe, what what should my budget be? What should I what should I have in mind? Um, well, our shoes are quite affordable um, for the quality we render. So. From about 35, 40, okay. 50, 60, depending on the, the style you want. Let's say $100 and above, you know, okay. $200 basically for a, a good shoe. Yeah, so no. it's not easy to sustain a business in Nigeria. We all mm. know this. And you've mm. been able to do it for 10 good years. Yes, I know. And you have this amazing setup. Yeah. How have you been able to do it? Yeah, um, first and foremost, I, um, I'll say you know, it's God's grace, sincerely. But uh, most important is um, about discipline, self-discipline, uh, being very prudent, um, being able to understand what you want and what you need. These things, you know, they matter a lot. And, and for me, goals are meant to be broken. And when I mean broken, I mean like surpassed. You yes. Know, you get a goal and you set another goal. Take it off that bucket list and move on. And you get to the next goal, you set another goal for yourself yeah. and there's no break, no stopping. Do you understand? And in the next five years, we want to see ourselves setting standards outside Nigeria. And we've been trying our best. It's a lot of work because the products are available. The challenge is the delivery and the payment system. You know, it has to be seamless. And as a layman, I would uh, just say, oh, Timilade makes male shoes. I know there's a lot of more peculiar terms to the different shoes you have. Yes. Yeah, uh, could you just give me like a brief of that? So for shoes, depending on uh, your outfit, okay, um, your outfit, um, what you want to achieve, how you want to look. Um, so we have for corporate shoes, we we have the best selling shoes. They call them Oxford shoes. Mm. You know, simple, just a bit of detail. You know, makes you look sharp and dapper. You know, we also have um, the brogues, the classic brogues. The brogues have always been classics and. People love it, you know, but not like the Oxfords. You know. And for native attires, we have some great shoes like um, loafers. Um, we have, uh, we call it the Black Gold Collection. Um, one of my best designs, you know, and one of our top selling shoes, you know. The, um, it has an European cut and um, the logo on the side, mm -hmm. you know. And um, we also have some loafers with the fringe. 
you know, the fringe are like the tassels, you know, oh, this kind yes, of, yeah. Oh, yes, I think I saw So, yeah, you know, we have guys that buy weather on the natives. Mm. They just want to not, something not too serious. Too serious, yeah. You know, but a bit playful also. And um, our average sandals, then um, some, if you want to go a bit rugged, you know, your jeans or um, chinos, we have, mm. you could, we have some boots, you know, some oh, for boots like the you casual dress down. Yeah. You can wear it on corporate too, if you're the boot kind of person, you know, ankle shoes. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, I think those are the top selling shoes we have, okay. you know. I, I'm apart going from, to have a walk around and feed my eyes. Yeah, awesome, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much, Timiladi, for you're having welcome. me. Here. Thank you for having me too. Thank you for watching today's episode. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at Ndani TV. I'm going to walk around the store now and find me a bag to take home. <laughs> I'm Jemima and this is Fashion Insider.